Greetings and welcome to Organs Please. I'm Catherine of Sky and currently this uh, game is in a free demo on Steam so you can check it out if you want to and play it yourself. Um, if you like games like Papers Please and then Management Games, this might be the game for you. It's very tongue-in-cheek, it's kind of hilarious, um, so I'm really excited to show it to you. So uh, we're gonna just start a brand new game here. I did practice this a tiny bit so I could kind of tell you about stuff. We've exhausted the planet's resources and began squabbling over scraps. It's easier to just steal from your neighbor than to consume consciously. The results were predictable. A nuclear war. We destroyed nature, opting for irradiated ruins. According to the chirp of a Geiger counter, it wasn't fun to live through. <laughs> Imagine that. I like how it looks like it's actually drawn with real, like drawy things like pencils or crayons or something to survive we've built the verticals or verts gigantic monuments for a dying humanity first they were our cities then our states but there's no escaping hunger so the verts governments opted for desperate measures the recycling of their own citizens who else would lend you a helping hand for dinner if not your neighbor you know it's not a terrible idea i mean there's so much waste in the world the end of humanity was near, but then the astronomers, who managed to avoid getting eaten, discovered an inhabited exoplanet. Our chance to begin anew! Hooray! The Verts have begun the construction of spaceships, arcs, to colonize the new world. But not everyone will make the cut. All right. Citizens of Vert 5, the human survival thingy, and I can't read the rest because we have been forcibly jumped to a cutscene. I didn't click there, I promise. Uh-huh. Oops. Didn't do so well. But money! Yay! Vertical! Let's go! We're getting there. Get into the Ark, or at least at the pearly gates of the Ark. <laughs> we shall be the reader of souls. All right, let's start the day. Congratulations on your new appointment as the administrator for the factory, Mrs. Mc or Ms. McNeil. I've been told to give you a detailed guide. It's weird they insisted so much on it considering your brilliant results during the exam. I'm sure your uncle in the syndicate is very proud of his niece's achievements. Let's get to the factory. Okay, so I have to admit it took me ages to figure out how to get to the factory. I clicked all of these different buttons here. And there's no arrow, like on some of the other parts of the tutorial, there's an arrow that points to the right. At the very bottom, it does say to the factory. At the very bottom, but I, I had to click around. Anyway, this is the factory management screen. It displays several factory sections where your employees are hard at work. The resources produced by them are sent to the warehouse. That's up here. We can see what we got. We have hair, blood, skin, uh, meat, and bones. Your task is to complete production orders. The ARCS icon will mark the task required to build the ship. Give those first priority. So we have we have the arc icon here and we need bones. The first order is to build a launch complex out of bones for the arc. This is great, huh? Raw materials. We don't believe in steel anymore. No, we're using bones to construct a launch complex. Really? Of course, you won't want to waste away in the factory, Ms. McNeil. You just need to assign employees by dragging their portraits to the relevant area. So if we zoom in on this, we can actually see the names of the places here. I wish we could use like middle mouse button to scroll left and right, but it's WASD only, it seems like. Oh no, we can use the right mouse button. Okay, scratch that. Never mind, we're going to use right mouse button. Uh, assign two employees to the bone section and the third to any other. Now, we can, they actually do have bonuses. So this person has a performance increase by five. Thick skin gets 10 less stress. This one is also 10 less stress. Okay, so uh, some of them have specialties in the uh, specific area that they're in, like they get more productivity in the blood department or whatever. So, okay, and then the third one to any other area. Do we have any orders yet? No, okay, that's, that's coming in the future. So we'll put one in. So textiles are made with hair and skin so i'll just get one of those items just in case we need textiles later let's go for hair okay planning takes a lot of the work takes time you can pause the timer but you'll have to unpause it for the factory to start working 
I don't actually know how to pause it. Okay, is there like a button for this? Oh wait, oh, sorry. There's a lot of work ahead. We need to establish a constant supply of bodies. Let's stop the time while we're just chatting here. We need to, okay. Uh, otherwise the factory's production will halt. Let's get back to the checkpoint. To construct the Ark and complete orders, you'll require bodies. Lots of bodies. Why is it not paused? I don't see the pauser right now. Hello? Uh, candidates for recycling will come on their own, but you'll need to pull the lever. Okay. Use the lever and send five visitors to recycling. They're glad to sacrifice themselves for the sake of humanity. Yay! Okay. I've already managed to set up an excellent team. Me and the person behind me are going to work together. Hooray! So they have all negative traits here, so they definitely go down. Again, I, if we only had a factory like this back in the 20s, we'd show them. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be alive right now. Okay, the person behind me is trying to hide the fact that they're married. Is that a bad thing? Okay, again, please note that I require adequate colleagues. All right, bye-bye. So there, there are skills, by the way. We have intelligence, stress tolerance, and endurance. Those are going to take, uh, we're going to find that those are necessary later. Oh, or uh, we're going to find out what they are for later. Sometimes you won't have enough fuel for the factory. You can incinerate the worst citizens of Vert 5 to cover that deficit. Deficit. Uh, everyone will have a chance to serve the needs of society. Yay! To refuel, burn three visitors with the lowest stats. Okay, so I guess... So we do get um an indication of how much they're going to give us. But we're just going to burn everybody here. Okay, bye! Okay, we can go. I can see you've got a, the hang of recycling and incinerating, but slow down a bit. We still need people to construct and man the Ark. We need the best citizens of Vert 5. We've marked their best qualities in their cards with green for your convenience. Check the documents, stamp them, and return them to the future colonists. Admit five visitors with green stats to the Ark. Okay, we can pause this, I think. No, oh, we don't need to. It doesn't matter. We, oh, run time. Yeah, let's go back. Okay. So she has good stats. Notice the numbers on this because like even if it's a very small amount like eight or something it'll show up as green and that's going to be important later. So these people so here's a 14 that's in green but sometimes it'll show up like you know very very high or it seems like it's high but keep in mind these people can have 40s as their stats. Okay go 47 74. So the better people give us more survivability to the arc. Okay, yeah, high stats visitors increase the Ark's survivability. The committee observes this key parameter. Besides increasing construction, increasing the Ark's survivability will also increase the committee's trust in you, awarding you various bonuses. Hooray! It's a shame that not everyone in Vert 5 is as perfect as I am. Sometimes you'll have to admit people who aren't above average in every stat. But do make sure that the total number of their stats is above zero. Sometimes you actually have to do some mental math for that. Otherwise, the Ark's survivability will be lower. The rust bucket they'll cobble together won't be flying off too far. <coughs> Increase the Ark's survivability level by admitting enough visitors with a positive stat total. We'll turn them into space janitors or something. Okay, let's go. You come. Wow, that's a lot of... So here's a person with negative numbers. Their total is 50 minus 39. So they're barely positive, but I guess they still are good. They're okay. Uh, all right, but people like that you can also chuck into the into the into the factory <laughs> There we go factory for you Keep going Okay, you come in We've completed an arc order, but didn't start a new one planning orders that is an important part of your job Ms. McNeil. Let's return to the factory. Okay, let's go uh, so we can look at the orders board and we can see what's available. So textiles are actually on order here so um, the committee assigns you mandatory orders. They are needed to construct and supply the Ark. Their completion isn't optional. However, you can pick and choose which commercial orders you accept. An order you accept is moved from the respective part of the orders board. Accept all available orders. It doesn't seem like there's any detriment, or at least I don't read any. Like, if you don't complete this thing, you'll get minus $50 or something. The people who don't, who do, won't do volunteer work for the sake of Vert 5, however much the government hopes for that. You'll need money for salaries, new factory sections, and bribes. Use commercial orders to earn more income. New orders will become available as you complete old ones. Yeah, you can definitely up, like upgrade areas and stuff like that I've seen, like get more warehouse space and whatnot. Let's put in this person to skin over here instead. Uh, cause we're going to need, uh, both items for textiles. So we have meat. Let's get a person into meat. 
Uh, and then we need blood as well. So let's just do that. Let's get these people into blood. And then we'll do textiles after. Employees send the resources collected from the bodies and produce good to the warehouse. You can check your stocks there. Okay. So we have tons and tons of hair, which is plenty enough. I don't know how much we need for each. Okay. So we have performance upgrade. Uh, oh, thank you. Go away. Um... So yeah, we can also have purchased a slot for an extra employee. Um, but I think performance upgrades are pretty, might be good. Okay, so let's go and we'll go back to the place here. Okay, complete the remaining three orders on your own. Take care of 20 visitors. All right, you can come on the ark. You can go into the body section. Thank you. We shall use your body for the betterment of society. There we go, go down. I feel like I'm sending them to hell or something. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Actually, that was, that was, that guy was positive, slightly positive. You know what? We don't need people like that though. We need very positive people. We need good people with good skills here. And we also need more bodies. So yeah, that's important. Okay, go. We only have one body left. Let's go and check this. Let's stop time and just check on things. All right, the meat is almost done. So we can actually change that one in a second. So you go down here. Wait, did I... Does it... It doesn't run time while I'm... Even if I'm just taking care of people, I guess. Uh, okay, go. Yep. Uh, this is not good. Okay, so we're going to pause this. Um, we did get an order done. So all we need is textiles now. So that means we can move one of our people. Let's see, the person from meat can go into textiles. And then we don't need any more blood, technically. Uh, so I'm guessing, do we want more skin? We have tons of skin. I think we'll just, let's just stack up on blood. I think that's fine. Okay, so run time. We'll go back. And you get to the body count. Hooray! You go in, hooray, 43, barely positive person, dude, I'm just going to chuck you, bye. Looks like they don't really yell at you if they're like barely positive, because I think we're just, yeah, we don't want people of below average everything, that's not good. Okay, so what do we got here? We need... These, we have this many textiles. It looks like we have tons of items here. That's so we're doing pretty well. Uh, okay, down. Congratulations on completing your first work day, Ms. McNeil. I'm afraid your uncle won't be picking you up. The committee is questioning him. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Security will escort you to your apartment, but first you'll need to pay the factory's employees their salary. All right, let's go. Employee salaries are paid at the end of each day. You can pick who you're going to pay. This is most interesting because like every other game I've ever played, you have to pay everybody. But nobody likes working for free. Employees that don't receive salary will lose loyalty. They will send reports to the committee, which will decrease your trust with the organization. I think we're going to play it safe so far and just pay everybody. That's fine. I don't have to be greedy. Okay, so we have these things. We're going to look at faction pr principles later. We're going to get to that in a second. Okay, so now we choose who is working tomorrow. Uh, all right, pay attention to stress and fatigue levels. These people are massively stressed and fatigued. Sometimes employees need to rest, so we're going to untick them. So we have three more people that we can work with. Okay, uh, they'll wait for us at the checkpoint, so let's go. Okay, so we are at the checkpoint. Can we look at the orders board? All right, let's see what we got. We have canned food, textiles, blood, and meat. We already have lots of these, so I'm pretty sure that we can easily do those. Let's go and make sure that we're going to have somebody in blood and meat, first of all. Uh, let's see if these people have... Okay, so this is a... Uh, yeah, blood shop productivity increases by 5, gets 10% less stress. Sounds good to me. Go to blood here. And you like meat. Perfect. These people are working well. So you're skillful. Competence grows 5% faster. Wow. Look at how many, how much competence they need for the next level. That's a bit nuts. All right. So what else do we need here? We need textiles. So I'm going to continue to work on textiles uh, on that 
thing. We also need canned food. Now, this is a thing where you can only choose one or the other um, right now. I don't know if the, there's an upgrade for that, but we're going to see. So let's go back. So we've already set up our orders for the day. So we're going to just start the day now. Good morning, Ms. McNeil. I've been asked to tell you that your uncle has been arrested. I'm sure it's just a slight misunderstanding and he'll be released soon. Yeah, right. I'm sorry you didn't get enough sleep, but the factory schedule cannot be changed. The workday begins at 8 a.m. and ends at 8 p.m. Accidents are a common sight at the factory. We're always looking for new employees. You can hire one. Oh, look at that. A suitable candidate. Look at this high 40s in all of the things. The visitor stats affect their performance at the factory. High intelligence will let them raise their competence quickly. Okay. Stress resistant won't go mad during their first day of wait. work as an, an enduring one will work for longer without needing rest. Hire a visitor by giving them the employee card. Have them start working uh, tomorrow. Otherwise, they'll be tired. After that, go to the factory. Okay, so here. You can, you can have one of these. You can be ours for, for now. Okay, waiting for you at the factory screen. All right, hello. Study the employees, Ms. McNeil. We're not interested in their appearance and gender. What we are looking for are three stats. Competence, stress, and fatigue. Okay. Competence grows as the employee works in the factory. They gain levels and buffs, also increasing their performance. A high stress level uh, is a risk for the employees. They might gain a debuff. A fatigued employee might accidentally fall into the bone grinder or die of exhaustion. Okay, so you don't want them to be fatigued. Note that this employee is about to break down. Apparently, I guess we were supposed to choose one of the tired ones because I got this message before uh, when I was practicing. And yeah, there's nobody to send to the break room because nobody is tired. So yeah. Each of your employees has strengths and weaknesses, some of which may be acquired while working at the factory. Keep in mind when planning working, uh, planning work on orders, one might be better in the meat section while another is prime candidate for being recycled. Right. Being recycled. I thought these people were good. Okay. Uh, change, choose new orders. We already did that. Canned food. La -de -da -de -da. Okay. Let's go back. Factory management is quite the expensive endeavor, as you might be realizing by now, or as you might have realized by now. Earn $300 by completing commercial orders. Let's see how quickly you can do that, Ms. McNeil. And don't forget to complete today's mandatory ARC order. Get to work. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, runtime. Yeah. Okay. Um, construction crane bones. It looks like we need bones as well. All right. As soon as we finish the blood order, we'll go to bones. Okay. You look like you need to be recycled. Go ahead. Recycled. Okay, we did complete one of them. Let's stop time. Uh, so that was... I wish it told me which one I finished. Because it just says resource. It doesn't say, like, completed the blood order. So I would love to have that so I can just, like, quickly switch people around. Okay, so we need canned food and meat. And canned food... Oh, we did the textiles, maybe. Okay, so you can go to... Bones. All right, you go to bones. Uh, the blood, let's see. We still need, so if we go canned food, we need both blood and meat. We have a little bit of blood. We don't have not much. So meat, bones, canned food. Okay, run. Let's go. All right, you look like you can, yeah, all right, we'll give you a pass. Go on. Recycle, recycle. Sometimes the checkpoints will be visited by representatives from the government, the syndicate, or the virtuous populi. The hands of Earth might risk coming too. The committee strives to maintain the balance of factions at the Ark. We are hoping that your connections to the syndicate will not interfere with your fair and unbiased selection of colonists. Mm hmm. Hey there, Shannis. Doing pretty well for yourself, ain't ya? Totally better than your uncle behind bars, eh? Don't worry your pretty little head about it, though. The syndicate will get him out in no time. So we know this person, apparently. By the by, there's a job for you. We need a chump for a stint. Can you get one of your factory mates to do it? Go to the factory and send one to the Ark. No! Okay, fine. Uh, we'll do that. You wish to transfer an employee to the Ark, Ms. McNeil? Of course you can do that, but I suggest you do not abuse your power. Okay. They can employ you wish to transfer and send them. All right. So let's see who we want. I like these people who have very specific needs here. Meat, there, the blood, and then you. I think we'll just, hmm, out of breath. Maximum fatigue minus 20. Ugh. Okay. We're going to send you to the Ark. Sure. 
Okay, the faction principle has been... So the factions, basically they give you buffs the more uh, people you have on the arc with their particular alignment. So the Mafia can help you solve quite a few problems for a price, of course. Okay, fine. I haven't... I don't know how to work that, but anyway. It's nice to have powerful friends, isn't it? The Syndicate has been kind enough to offer help in the management of the factory and construction of the Ark. Considering the limited resources, the committee has accepted their help. Hey, are you, what are you talking about? We have millions of bones to construct this. Use the faction principle screens to see how your friends can help you. Okay, so if we look at this, this is where... Uh, this was the thing that we can look at also from the end of the day. Oh, grow to full version. That looks cute. Uh, all right. So like this one, employee competence grows 50% faster. That's nuts. Um, fatigue gain is increased by 10%. That is one heck of a thing. So we need officials on the arc. Five points for that. Share a meal with your friend. Okay. Government colonists at the arc require one ration for three. Okay. Sending a church faction visitor to recycling gives 100% percent, percent to body recycling speed speed for 20 minutes. That's a lot. Uh, well, 20 minutes is not a lot of time. Actually, I was thinking like real-time minutes, but I bet it's in-game minutes. Faction employees increase body processing speed by 70% at the factory section they're, they're working at. Doesn't stack. Okay, Hands of Earth. You can hire two faction employees in place of one regular employee. Cool. Admitting faction visitors into the arc relieves shift employees of 100 stress. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of different bonuses you can get from here. And obviously I didn't read them all, but you can read them when you play. Okay, you're doing pretty well. Carry on working as usual. Okay, you look like a good person. You know what? We're going to give you a chance to be an employee here. Even though like that bottom stat was not great. Oh, you don't belong here. No, go away. Uh, you also don't belong here, Shu. You look pretty good. We'll just get you on the arc here. Go away. We also need fuel. So you're going to be fuel. Uh, because the, the factories stop working if we don't give them fuel. Kind of necessary. Here, you get to be fuel too. Enjoy. Enjoy that hot stuff. Yeah. All right. You can go in the arc. It's another purple person. Uh, this person is a scientist. Can we, I guess we can't see there if they have any other skills, alas. Okay, sure. Let's just check on, we did get a quest complete, so it's stop time. Let's look at our orders board. So it looks like we need bones. Um, do we have, I think we probably have enough stuff. We don't have as much meat, so we're going to put this person in canned food and they can start making the canned food. Is there anything else that we can... I guess let's let's complete one of these two other orders first and then we can see what other things we need. Because right now we don't really have enough... Wait, we don't want to stop time. Go, go back, run. I wish it would just automatically go back to running time once we're uh, back on this screen. Okay, come on the arc. Let's go. You can also come on the arc. Okay, quest complete. So let's find out what quest that was. So we have... I don't know what this is. Engine frame, bones, but it doesn't say we need to provide a certain number of bones. Hmm. Let's do more. Let's do meat. And we'll do hair. I think we can do those. So we have a person in meat. Let's put you in hair. Uh, whoops. Here, you do hair. That's good. So we got canned food still going, meat still going, hair going. Good. Okay, you are going to our factory. Hey, aren't you excited? Yeah. Bye. We changed our mind. Okay, you can come on. Oh, coming in. We're finally getting some more of these other factions on here, which is kind of nice. Sorry. Bye-bye. Quest complete. Okay. So we did canned food. We got one of them. We got. We must have got the meat. What do we need for canned food? Anything else? Let's stop time again. It looks like we have very little blood, so I'll move this person from meat to blood. And the canned food is still being made. Do we... Let's see, it's where we end at 20 because that's 8 p.m. 
I kind of wish it went to 8 instead of 20 because like it says 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And like Americans don't use a uh, 24-hour time unless you're in the military and I'm not in the military. So <laughs> it's like, nope. <laughs> um, We're going to use, let's see, let's get the meat order maybe. The canned food order is really good. Well, yeah, cons look at this. 40 kilograms of canned food versus... 100 kilograms of meat and it's just one more process and then one more ingredient but it's three times the price and it's like much less much less okay so let's have let's see this person working in hair let's put you in meat unless wait do you like meat you are a meat person all right so never mind i don't like that i can't dr do here drag to an assign okay so i have to drag them that way i wish we could just put them in this bin i don't know why that's not a thing Okay, let's put this one there in meat, maybe more meat. Canned food is blood. No, we still need blood. Okay, that's fine. Hello. Wait, hold on one second. We need to look at, thought we had a person. Meat, urine, blood. Okay, so this guy's in meat. You should be in blood. Okay, so... Let's put you here instead and put you up there. Okay, very good. All right, we have, maybe we do a performance upgrade here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, okay, so we do need, I thought it was one to one, but it's not. 25 blood and 25 meat equals eight canned food. All right, so this is level two. I have no idea. Oh, okay, let's see. 15 employees performance plus 10 factory section level divisible by three total eight kilograms. I forgot to look at this thing before. What is, wait, is it this? Was that still give us? Yeah, it's level two for both. I forgot to look at this. I'm going to have to actually check the video and see what it was before the upgrade, but maybe we'll get a chance to upgrade again. Um, and then we can see it again. Okay. So, all right. Sorry. Bye. Wait, we need to run it again. Run. Okay, so you can come into the Ark, yay. And you can also barely come into the Ark. We need more red people. You can also, oh, we need more blue people because they had a really good bonus as I recall. Okay, we get another employee pass, which is nice if we find one, of course. All right, there's a blue person. Sorry, bye-bye. I guess I shouldn't be sorry. I should be like, dude, you should be better. Yeah, that's probably cruel, but it's okay. We are, we, this is not the kind of game that we need to worry about being nice to people, I think. Okay, wow, you're barely positive, dude. Fine, you can come to the Ark. We need more blue people, go. Um, gosh, and I don't see anybody that I want to bring on the Ark. Red, here. Eh. We're running out of people, man. Okay, yellow, go. Red, bye. Eh, barely positive. I want to give away this thing. Jeez. That's it, workday over. We didn't get to give out that extra employee pass. Sad times. Okay. Your uncle planned a coup at the committee. Blackmail, bribes, assassinations. Quite common tools of the syndicate. But he bit off more than he could chew. We knew that it took a bribe for you to be employed here. You've been a good employee, but the committee can no longer trust you. Yeah, because of my uncle. Damn. Your recycling paper has have been signed. Do not resist the security officers. Your body will serve Vert 5. Farewell, Miss McNeil. So that's pretty bad. <laughs> It's <laughs> like, dang, okay, fun stuff. We get to be recycled. Hooray. Okay. There's a contract that we're not even being allowed to read, it seems like. I'm still blindfolded and all that. This is Patrick. Oh, no, they lifted the... Okay, I got it. They lifted the thing. 
Okay, ARC News. Good morning, citizens of Vert 5. Today's top story. The Human Survival Committee's security force has discovered a coup in the making. The criminal organization was led by the factory's administrator, Shannis McNeil. She admitted her guilt and has been punished accordingly. Sadly, due to concerns about the rebellion, the entirety of the construction and the factory's administrator will need to be reformed. The new administrator will be Patrick Wells, the head of the space program rescued by us from the terrorists at Fort 77. Patrick was amazed by our hospitality and technological advancements. He is sure the Ark's construction will be completed soon. We wish him luck and welcome him to Vert 5, the greatest place on Earth. That's all the news for today. See you tomorrow. Same channel, same time. Go to work. <laughs> That's like my best newscaster voice. Welcome to the factory, meatbag. So you're one of those Vert 77 eggheads, eh? I feel like I've just like had a change of soul or something in my body. I hope that means you're smart enough to remember two rules. One, I represent the Human Survival Committee. You follow my every order. My every order. Got that? Two, ARC orders take first priority. We need to build the ship in 30 days. Other otherwise, we're all dead. But we'll have the time to eat you at least. If I see betraying the committee's trust, you'll be canned just like your predecessor. Canned. Mm hmm? Humor! Your first ARC order is to make the <laughs> engine frame. I thought that was quite clever. Canned as in canned meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't need any guidance on how the factory works, smartass. Get to work, meat bag. Okay. All right. All right. Apparently, we've done this before. Okay. So we have bones needed. Who do we have available here? Ambidextrous. Um, this is a blood person. This is a not blood person. Okay. So let's just put you in bones. We need one in bones for now. Let's look at our orders board. Uh, we had a meat person, right? Let's see. We have goods orders here. I need to do the math on these now that we're like, huh, how much is it in each? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do blood and skin. Sure. Because we can only work on a couple things at a time. Our warehouse has been completely cleared, by the way. Uh, your blood. Yes. Okay. Blood. Which is great. Skin goes here. Okay. There we go. Greetings, friend. Victor Hoffman from the Ministry of Propaganda and Control. We'll work together to ensure the stability of Vert 5. I heartily recommend admitting as many government employees as possible to the Ark. They are proper citizens and will ensure there is order in the world of tomorrow. I think the government is maybe the shield shape because he's got one on his hat. Those are the blue people. And I think the syndicate is the purple people. I think that's the second column. But yeah, we don't have that going. All right. Uh, I heartily recommend admitting as many government employees as possible. Okay. We already did that. Speaking of order, our analysts say that people trust the government 10% less. Recycling the citizenry is no cause for concerns about our le leadership. Give 10 of our propaganda leaflets to those you admit to the ARC. We're counting on your support, friend. Hmm. Okay. Sure. That's our quest. Let's uh, put you on the ARC. Sure. Let's see, we are getting stuff done, right? Oh no, we are not because we don't have anybody to... Oh, shoot. Okay, sorry. You go down and do stuff. Uh, okay, so it does actually start time on the factory. So you go down. I keep forgetting to give the leaflets away. You go down. You're not worthy of our attention. You can come in. Let's give you everything. There we go. Uh, you can also come to our arc. Uh, you also are slightly... Okay, in the arc, barely. Go down, down, down. You can go into our arc. I'm still looking for a good employee. Uh, you go down, thank you. Let's go over here and do the run. Uh, I wish we could press spacebar to stop time. I would love that, uh, especially stopping like on the other screen as well. Wait, stop, stop. I thought I clicked that stop. Oh, you can press spacebar. Why does it not work on the other screen? That's so weird. Uh, okay, anyway, government. Um, let's just looking at the numbers here. Do we have that available here? Arc parts. Yeah, this is what we are doing. Okay, so we're running right now. Got to remember, we're always running on this screen. Always running. Uh, all right. You can be part of our lovely, lovely thing there. Okay. You have pretty decent skills. I'll give you a pass. Go down, 
We have a lot of people that we are sending down. Okay. Um, sure. Go ahead and stamp. Okay. Stop time. No fuel. Oh no. <gasps> That's why it wasn't working. Shoot. Okay. Fuel now. Uh, fuel now. Ugh. We're going to... Okay, one of our orders was completed. Okay, so it automatically stops when I get on the screen. Okay, I don't know why I thought it kept going. But anyway, let's see what we got here. We have... Let's look at our orders board and see what we can do. We have a little bit of skin and a little bit of blood. So we could do some textiles for sure. We can do meat. Let's do meat and textiles. Because we need three people for that, right? Um, wait, I don't know. Wait, maybe, maybe we need more. We actually need more than that, right? Okay, so skin we need. Bones we do not need. We need to have them in textiles and we need you in hair. Oopsies. So let's see. We're getting textiles happening. Meat is not happening. Wait, do we have a meat person? No, you're a blood person. Okay, never mind. Skin, we have a little bit of. So we could put you in meat, but we need a ton of meat. Let's leave them in skin for now, and then let's uh, leave the meat alone. I forgot we need three just for textiles. Okay. So, yeah, you go ahead and do things. Ah, the faction principle has been adopted. Workaholic propaganda. All right, we get it. Competence grows 50% faster. That is very nice. Sorry, you don't qualify. The propaganda went as planned. You came through for us. The government hopes we will continue our cooperation for the good of Vert 5. Okay. Await further tasks. For now, I will stop distracting you from fulfilling your duties. See you soon. Thank you. You're the top dog here, eh, fella? I'm Lucana Tricelli from the Syndicate. I represent the Dawn here. We're a respected family. Better not cross us, capiche? Rules are simple. Let our people f into the Ark and we'll be on good terms. Friends, we help solve problems. Enemies, we help make them. You'll be visited by Tom Walsh, a friend of ours. He helped us solve a certain little issue with the government bureaucrats. You don't need to know the details. What you do need to know is that you'll get a fat wad of cash and the Dawn's gratitude if you help Tom Walsh hide on the Ark. Hope we've researched and reached an understanding here. Now, this is important that you read this. Because this person's name will not be highlighted. You just need to pay attention to who's in front of you. All right. Tom Walsh. Yes. Okay. Remember that name. Uh, okay. Tom Walsh. And because they're asking, it's probably likely that this Tom Walsh is not going to have good stats. So you can go Tom Walsh. Oops. Okay. Tom Walsh. Okay. There we go. Minus survivability, if you notice there. Let's check this and see what we're what we got here. Um, textiles is happening. That's good. Do we have extra? We have extra skin. I guess we could put the skin person into meat. Yeah, let's put them into meat for now. Okay, uh, let's see. Usual response is no, but right now I'm saying yes. No, bye. Your response is, I'm going to take you as an employee. You look good. Okay, um, I mean, your stats look good. I shouldn't be so horrible there. Okay, let's see. Let's put you, all right, you're plus 16. That's rough, man. Why are you asking us to take you when you're horrible? Okay, order completed. Um, so now we just need meat. We can actually look and see if there are other orders for us. We can do canned food and hair. I think we can do hair instead. So let's put in from textiles to hair. Uh, let's put you in hair. Okay. I was going to transfer them directly, but that thingy, I guess I should have moved this before. Anyway. Okay, so we also have the break room, which is up here. If we see the stress going way wacky, looks like Thomas and Bailey are getting kind of high on stress. But anyway, bye-bye. Ah, nice. 
Okay, a doctor that is competent. Yay! All right, your fuel. Thanks. Thank yous. There you go. More bodies. I don't know if we keep bodies to the next day. I'm curious about this. I hope so. They are refrigerated as we have... S oh! Okay. Stress does not decrease faction employee performance. That's great. I should have actually added them. Here, I'll add you. Uh, their stats were almost good enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Doctor without intelligence. That's scary. That's like super scary. <laughs> really scary. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We are almost at 20, so probably... We can check out the order orders board to see if there's anything else here. Maybe we can do hair. Uh, let's accept this. Seven working hours. Okay, but we have two people working on it, so maybe it's going to be less. I don't know. Uh, and let's see if we want to... Let's get some bones up, maybe. Okay, you come on the arc. Let's go. Uh, you can come on the arc. You can also come on the arc. We're gonna run out of arc spots, I feel, soon. Bye-bye. I kind of wish this was just click instead of hold down. Okay, pleasure doing business with you. Tom reached the arc and says hi. Maybe you'll see him too, though usually he shoots in the back. Just joking. Don't worry, take the money for the job and make sure to visit our cabaret after work. Drink one for the dawn. See ya, fella. Okay, end the day. So we're going to, okay, so employee salary. I'm going to pay everybody. That sounds, sounds like a good idea. Here's our survivability. We have these population figures here. Our principles are as such. We have these two principles that guide us now. So we can say next. And we can pick who we want for the next day. I'm going to take off all my stressed people. But look at this. Now this means we have one, two, three, four, five, six people for the next day. So I'm going to go ahead and end the day here. We'll look at the news. Good morning, citizens of Vert 5. Sad news tonight as unknown perpetrators have detonated an explosive on level 119. The government suspects the illegal organization Hands of Earth and their accomplices from Vert 77. An investigation is underway and we can assure you the culprits will be found. Be vigilant. Report any suspicious activity from your neighbors. Doubting the leadership is cause enough for a report. The virtuous populi or virtues populi will hold a meat prayer in honor of the deceased. Come, it will be quite the feast. That's all the news for today. See you tomorrow. Same channel, same time. Okay. So I think this is a good place to stop this episode because we're almost out of time in this episode. And um, anyway, check this out on Steam. If this appeals to you, it kind of like hits the like papers, please thing. Though on that aspect, I feel like it's really light and it's really like, okay, there's not a lot of things to check. You're basically just doing some mental math occasionally if it's a bit iffy on the numbers. So, um, but it's kind of fun. I guess it's, you know, there's the whole fuel thing and then the, the meat freezer thing. And anyway, if it looks like fun to you, check out the demo. It is free on Steam right now. This is called Organs, Please. Uh, no doubt the title is a mention of the aforementioned uh, sort of immigration simulator. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.